I'm gonna get another bomb. So I'm gonna get another bomb. A defiant 17-year-old murder suspect is back in jail this morning. Investigators say Isaac Gonzalez cut off his ankle monitor and was on the run for months, taunting the Bear County Sheriff's Office on social media. During his arrest, Gonzalez vowed to be released on bond yet again. Fox SA's Melissa Vega reports on the missed deadline that allowed the team to go free in the first place. I'm gonna get another bond too. I'm gonna get another bond too. So as you can see, extremely cocky, uh, very confident young man, confident that he's going to take full advantage of the legal system. Deputies rearrested teenage murder suspect Isaac Gonzalez on Halloween. He was wanted for cutting off his ankle monitor back in August. His rearrest coming three months after a judge was forced to let him out of jail without paying a dime. So in this particular case, um, uh, it started off as a juvenile offense. Certain offenses uh, that are deemed appropriate can be certified to stand trials as an adult and transferred to adult jur jurisdiction. Ultimately, with Isaac, that's what happened. Gonzalez's attorney, Adam LaHood, says once his client was certified to stand trial as an adult, the district attorney's office was put on a deadline. The law is very, very clear. The law that we're talking about is Section 17151, the Texas Code of Criminal Procedure. That law says a defendant held in jail for 90 days or longer without being indicted or going to trial must be released on a PR bond or a bond they can afford. The DA's office missed that deadline by one day, so a judge had to lower Gonzalez's bond. Uh, when you're dealing with somebody that's 16, 17 years old, uh, doesn't have any money, it's it's going to be pretty hard to come up with five or $10,000 in cash to post bond. So he was eventually released on a PR bond, something LaHood says rarely happens. Full GPS, house arrest, drug testing, uh, everything else. They knew where he was going to be at. He was being monitored by pretrial services. And then obviously um, things went wrong. While on the run, Gonzalez taunted Bear County gang unit officers, posting a photo of himself with several firearms in his hands writing, tell everyone at the gang unit, I said, catch me. And they eventually did, but not before the sheriff says he committed even more crimes. Well, there is information here that uh, at the very least, Isaac and possibly his other co-defendant in this case may have been involved in, in burglars of vehicles and quite possibly other violent crimes. Um, so we are investigating, continuing to investigate, working with other agencies if it comes down to it. Uh, and trying to determine that. I mean, we just want to have these folks make sure that they stay behind bars where they need to be. The DA's office says it couldn't comment on this case specifically. They noted that in the rare instances in which this happens, a majority of the time it's because they're awaiting specific reports or other information needed to secure an indictment. LaHood says it's unlikely his client will get a second chance. This is not a get out of free unconditional card or anything else like that. In fact, in uh, Mr. Gonzalez's case, Isaac's case, he's actually remanded without a bond right now. Um, now that may change. Uh, the judge could set one. If there is a bond set, I anticipate it will be very, very high uh, and probably something uh, that he or most people wouldn't, wouldn't have a, a prayer of making. Melissa Vega, Fox SA.